The sleigh bells are ringing and the carolers are singing while the air raid sirens blare. It's Christmas at Round Zero. Oh, hey, y'all. Oh, I almost <laughs> forgot you were there. <laughs> it's Bill Cosby on Bill Cosby Christmas on FM. I hope you're all having a Merry Christmas. And by Christmas, I mean... All the time between November and December and basically any moment after Halloween until New Year's. It's Christmas time. Hoop de do, how to do. I hope you all have a good time and you don't get caught raping no girls. You know, because that's why I'm doing this podcast from jail. Because I raped too many girls. You know, y'all, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I've been doing. It's Bill Cosby here. I was weird out here compared to talking about Christmas and Ground Zero. Because they're about to drop the bombs. I got Donald Trump. Oh, no. I'm Donald Trump. I'm goddamn. I'm gonna drop the bombs. I'm in Saudi Arabia. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I'll see you next time on. Bill God for Christmas, not ever. My throat hurts. I was gonna say that sounds extremely destructive. Uh, oh God, that was a lot. <laughs> you really pulled through. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ! I'm proud of you. Dogs. Snorting. Oh man, that took a lot out of me. Aww. Ah. Damn. Oh fuck yeah! Three for the price of one. Line them up. Take them down, bitch. Three fucking dogs with one arrow. Um, that's I it. Have, I'm done. I have a bird in the hand. I have a bird in the bush. I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> For those of you who don't oh, know, man. this is a Victor quote. You said you've read the Victor quotes on. I here, don't right? think that one was in the, the sure? repertoire at the really? time. Really? I thought you did that recently. No. That was quite a while ago. Well, that I are read there the new Victor ones quotes. that the Digibros fans haven't heard? Um, I'm pretty sure we did it again recently. No, I don't think so. Or did I come up with that on Digibros? What? When did I come up with that? What do you mean? When did I first say that line? You said that at Hollow Scream. I'm pretty sure. Not this year. Last year. Yeah. Let's There's see. no way that you haven't read that on this show. Maybe that one. Anyways, for anyone who hasn't heard the Victor oh. quotes, let's just read off the Victor quotes. <laughs> well, here's the newest one that, <laughs> oh, no. that is relevant to a bird in the hand is worth two in oh, the bush, no. which is <laughs> a turd in the hand is worth two in the bed, <laughs> because we're talking about <laughs> shit in bed. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a good one. I like a that one. A turd in the hand is worth two in the bed. Nice. Yeah. The Godzilla quote. I think we read that one. What's that? No, read it. That read them all. A... Just read, read the quotes. No. No, I don't they, remember what the quote is. They've already heard a lot of these. Yeah, but I don't remember it now. There's the classic, fart is a stronger word than toot. <laughs> <laughs> it's <is> true. <laughs> and then I like this one a lot. Godzilla is such a sassy monster. He just oh, has a fuck, sassy I face. Light. That's true. Which I enjoy. I like how you have dates on them. That's nice. Of course. I try to keep track. Uh, Oh, here's the one you said about my mom. Oh, no. It's like a baby playing Pokemon Snap or something about my mom trying to take pictures for social media. Oh, no. Yeah, that's pretty good. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Uh, man. Let's see. There's uh, the classic popcorn smells dumb. That's true. Which you said after we saw The Shape of Water and we were talking about smells smells in the theater. It smells like fucking piss, man. It's garbage. (laughs) This is this one is a one I know we've read, but I love it. Wolves evolve from dogs, and wolves used to shove hot dogs right up their own <laughs> yeah. assholes. So that's what I do for my dog. Yes, let's shove hot dogs up our dogs' assholes. I'm glad you wrote that one down. I love that. <laughs> that's a good one. Here's the uh, the original. You got a bird in the bush. You got a bird in your hand. I don't know what this means. <laughs> yeah. This one's really good. <laughs> we it was uh, at the time of Trump being elected. Oh, he elected. made it storm. Whoa. Whoa. He's like a wizard. That's pretty cool. He is a wizard. <laughs> Which is... He's a whiz robe. <laughs> this one is, uh, you gotta let me have your Ted cruising for a bruising. <laughs> your Ted cruising for a bruising. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one happened in Hollow Scream and it's really good. 
so we were you were talking to Tyler, and Tyler said, "What do you call someone who doesn't believe in gay people?" <laughs> and there was a long oh, yes. pause, and you said, "Fagnostic." <laughs> Fagnostic. <laughs> Which is great. That was pretty good. And everyone died. That was this year, right? Yeah, yeah. that was this year. That was year. pretty recently. Fagnostic and uh, a turd in the hand is worth two in the bed. <laughs> a turd in the hand is worth two in the bed. And fagnostic. <laughs> fagnostic. What do you call someone who doesn't believe in gay people? Fagnostic. It's a good one. <laughs> it's pretty good. I love that. I'm pat myself on the back for that shit. <laughs> yeah, I hope pat me on the back and it's great. I like it because my back is itchy and it's, oh. it's like low-key scratching it. Yeah, use your nails. Get in there. <laughs> get in there. You just rub it. You get in that shoulder. Yeah, get in that right shoulder. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Guys, I'm getting the, the back scratch and it's good. This is why oh, you my God. This is why to everyone, have a significant yeah. other. People are like, oh, I don't want to be in a relationship. What, what do you get out of being in a relationship? No, Dude, you, you get do. fucking back scratches, you dumb you fuck. What's wrong scratches. with you? Jesus fucking Christ. It makes your quality of life Stop so, being a baby. So commit good. to a woman. Get a back scratch. Get, get on the other, other shoulder. Side? Yeah, get on the other okay. shoulder. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is wonderful. I was playing Zelda, getting a back scratch, I'm rambling in a microphone. Oh my god, no, I'm back to the other side. We're lower. Lower down. Yeah, back down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, this back scratch. Oh my god. This is good. <laughs> this is good quality shit. There's a lot of wolves There's around here. There's a lot of here. dogs here. There's hunting dogs. Dogs. Anywho. The bounty hunter. Uh, I'd hate to cut this uh, back scratch off, but... <laughs> As long as you're scratching my back, I'm not going to be able to talk about anything I did. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, dude, yes. Oh my god, yes. Jesus fucking Christ. This is like Christ. when you're petting a dog and you find uh, the spot that makes the dog kick its legs real yeah. fast. Yeah. It's like that. Because, like, if you keep scratching my back, I just get other spots that are itchy, and then you hit those, and I'm just like, oh, oh, yeah. Aww. It's fantastic. Sorry. This is, I want this forever. This is life. I'm sorry that you guys will never have anyone as adorable yeah. as Victor, but you can try. You Aww. can you can dream big, you know? You just gotta get a nice boy who can do a Phil Cosby voice <laughs> and annoy the living shit out of you <laughs> until you somehow come full circle and love it all because they're just so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you sure back? Is you good? Yes, it's very nice. Okay. It as feels quite scratched. As long as you're good. I can pick up the remaining itches. Oh, uh, dear. Me. What are you doing? Ah, there was a what bug you... in the hallway. Oh. I just saw him going to the bathroom. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Do I gotta get him? please. Do you want to ramble while I go get that guy? I can try. Oh. I just went into the bathroom. Yeah, I guess I should, I should get him. Okay, I'm gonna pee on him. Oh, no, don't pee on him. Oh, guys, I gotta get the pug. Here's the other part of being in a relationship. Sorry. Sometimes you get back scratches. Sometimes you gotta go get a bug. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Where's the little bottle? Right back here. Victor. Right he went into the bathroom, like right behind the door, probably. Okay. I'm climbing a mountain. Oh, Jesus Christ. Did he go behind? Okay. Yeah. I fucking. I fucking saw that bitch crawl in and I was like. I don't like. This makes me. Hey, it's fine. As long as he dies. Oh my god, this guy is not... That shit doesn't work. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Uh, he wants revenge. Just he wants revenge. Take a, a, take, a, oh. take a shoe and slap him. Yeah, I gotta get him. Can I use the sandals? Yeah, just use my sandal and slap him. But then he's gonna explode. Well, it's better oh, than fuck. him fucking being alive. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh. Fucking really ripped him in half. Oh, shit. I ripped him in half in a very unique way. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, I hate it. Oh, God. Mm, the first time he's ever been in the house. Uh, I am not pleased. There's never been one outside of that little room before, right? Uh, no.
This is a. Uh, this is real life. This is the saga. You sometimes you gotta kill a bug. I don't know where I'm going. She says a bug, but you guys know what it is. Uh, you know it's not just a bug. Uh, you know what kind of fucking bug she's talking about. I don't like it. But that's a hairy, scary motherfucker right there. Not a spider. I don't care about spiders. That's what I'm saying. Spiders are great. Spiders this is one of them boys. This is the only boy that, that you could raise some hell about. I don't enjoy it. Uh, oh, but he is damn dead. Good. That motherfucker got split in some anime fucking he ways. He was torn asunder. He was ripped apart. Now I'm going to think about it all night. Uh, I'm ruined. Mm, Anyways. Mm, so what's something else we can talk about? Oh... Uh, Oh, yeah? Yes. Are you okay? Do we need to stop because it was too disturbing? No. Okay. I'm okay. You got a topic? Uh, uh you know, do, you know, do you want to talk about, uh... Do you want, do you want to talk about the, the most perfect boring show on Netflix? Yes. Get it, give us some context. Give us some backstory. <laughs> some backstory? Yes. What are we talking about? Uh... We're talking about season two of Castlevania. Yeah. Because apparently season one was very well received and season two yes. was even better received. Castlevania on Netflix, guys. It was a four episode show and then it was an eight episode show. And how do we feel about that? You know, how, how do we feel? I feel like. I was unconscious for ten episodes, and then two episodes were okay. Yeah. I mean, it's like everyone going into it, like, we, we just kept hearing everyone fucking sucking its cock, you know? Yes. Like, About how great the story and the characters yeah. and the animation and the voice acting is. People already loved season one a lot, and we didn't get it. I think, I'm pretty sure we talked about it on Vic and Hope, you know? It was boring and stupid. And the animation isn't that good, but, like, people seem to love it. It was like, uh, okay, and, uh, let's wait for fucking season two. Here we go. Season two comes out, and then, like, we're watching it, and, like, the first four episodes, at least, four to seven episodes, are just, like, agonizingly boring. Just vapid, boring, stupid shit that I could not stand. And, like... We're getting through it like one episode a day, you know, like I keep falling asleep Victor, during yeah. every episode because it's it so on, fucking boring. And everyone just keeps going like, it's so good. Oh, it's, it's so engaging. Oh, it's a thrill ride. Oh, I just loved every moment of it. <laughs> and I'm just like, what parallel universe am I living in where this is a great thrill ride show? That this is so engaging and so like unanimously loved. People are just really riding its fucking cock. I don't fucking get it. And, like, we finally got through to the end of it. And, like, I, I kind of understand, you know, it had a lot of flashy-looking animation stuff. You know, I wouldn't say it's, like, well, great animation. the last, the second-to-last yeah. episode did. The second-to-last episode was pretty good. Like, it was a lot of fun. The, the, the characters, like, like, Alucard and Dracula are good characters. They, they do some cool stuff with them. I enjoyed their character arcs. And the concept of their characters, but that does not make it, like, not the most boring show ever fucking put on the screen, you know? Like, it's still ridiculously boring. Maybe it's not Sword Art Online levels of boring. Yeah, it's not like, that boring, It's but... pretty fucking boring, and, like, everyone, like, praises the villains and stuff, and I'm like, I didn't think they were that interesting, you know? It gives them, like, a two-minute backstory in the way that, like, JoJo gives a character a backstory. Yeah. And it's just, like... Not that fascinating, you know? 
it has a lot of great ideas, but the execution is mostly just fucking boring, put you to sleep nonsense. And then it gets, you know, a couple great episodes at the end. You're like, all right, well, I guess I come away from it, like, overall positive because it ended well, you know, but, like, I still feel like I, I don't know, like I wasted time. I think it's just, <laughs> like, like, it was a slog and it could have just been, like, yeah. If they could have cut three episodes out of it and it would have been Ten of fine. your twelve episodes are absolutely boring and yeah. make people want to fall asleep. Your show's not a success. Yeah. It's not good just because you had two acceptable episodes. Yeah. And some some good ideas. Like it does have right. some some pretty cool ideas. Like, because Dracula is a pretty cool yeah. character. Dracula is a is a cool character. I agree. He the is a good villain. The ending moments are satisfying, you know, for what the plot was and for what the characters were. Like where it goes with Dracula and Alucard is like, this is kind of the best direction they could have taken this character and this story in. Yes. But to get there was super boring. Super fucking boring for me, you know? Some people, it wasn't that boring. Congratulations. I don't Way understand. Way to fucking go. I don't get it. How you could watch that and not be bored because yeah. they do try to make the characters like charming and quippy. Yeah, that's the worst part. But the voice acting is so flat that it yeah. doesn't read. It it's does not read at the, all. It's mostly the main dude especially is just so fucking flat and He's boring. He's so dry and that, so uh, flat. Like there's His just delivery. no chemistry between him and the other characters and it's just like the dialogue on paper like I understand why people think it's funny and what they were going for right. but in execution it is awful to me. The guy's voice fucking sucks i hate it yeah the guy who plays trevor he he speaks in a very monotonous way and he mumbles he constantly mumbles. he he has this quippy dialogue that he just mumbles with no intonation and you're like all right am i supposed to know that that was banter like yeah. what it's like, like i can't do it if you're not like if they're not putting some effort into the performance and like he has a of what you would think of a, a cool sounding voice that could match the concept of what the character is, but it doesn't really match like what he looks like or what he acts like at all. You know, right. the character doesn't look or act like a monot like monotone, gruff badass guy. They make him out like he's a goofball, but like he does not sound like a goofball. You know, right. it's weird. And he'll I hate, say, I, I like, really don't like the aesthetic of the characters. That's another thing where it's like, yeah. yeah, if you're on board for, like, that sort of DC comic book movie aesthetic of characters, and like, you probably are down for it much faster, whereas for us, it's like, oh, I really don't like this, and I think it's ugly, you know, like, I inherently think, ugly. Especially with Trevor, because his yeah. character design is he just looks too terrible. much, He's and it's, it's really redundant. His family crest is on his outfit, like, four different times. Yeah. It's like, I get it, dude. Like, your family crest is on your outfit. Calm down. You don't need it four fucking times. Yeah. It's, like, on his front, and it's on the back. It's everywhere. You can't miss it. You're just like, holy shit. Just chill. Jesus. I guess... The girl's kind of fine, Cephas, but she's also, like, her accent gets... Like, she... I think her voice acting gets a lot better over the course of the show. But, like, definitely. I, at first I thought it was pretty fucking awful and annoying. I remember it being pretty bad in yeah. season one, but I think oh, she improved. in season one. And, like, her character like, kind yeah. of... it. It's, like... She's weird because it, it feels like they kind of retconned her character the way where, like, I remember her being boring before and they just kind of make her, just like, made her fun. a goof. Like, she's Starfire or something, and it's, like... This is a fine character. I don't feel like this is what you originally intended here or something, or it just kind of comes out of nowhere. I don't know. It's yeah. weird. I guess they figured they already had Alucard, who was dark and moody yeah. and broods, and so they didn't want another, like, kind of downer. Yeah, and Alucard is fine. Like, I think they, they do him well enough. Yeah. You know? It's just Trevor that should be, like, the, the best one, you know, in the middle. He should feel like Spike Spiegel, you know? They yeah. should have got him to do the voice. Like, whatever yeah. his uh, fucking name is. He's a... Steve... Steve Bloom is in a guild. A uh, voice actor's guild. I don't oh, think they God. could afford him. What are you talking about? It's fucking Netflix. 
Yeah. Because Steve Bloom's in a voice acting guild. They get the fucking dude from The Hobbit. Like, what are you talking that about? That guy sucked ass at voice acting. Yeah, he's awful at voice acting, but he probably costs the whole fucking budget of the whole fucking show, you know? That guy is not famous for anything other than being a dork yeah, in The Hobbit. Yeah, but when it, when you're a stupid Netflix cartoon, that's... That's big cheese, you know? Like, like when there was that shitty local movie like and it's like, dwarf. they had whatever off dude from whatever Rob Zombie movie and that was like, whoa! Like, that was their big guy they had to pay so much money and it took all the budget of the movie, you know? Like, when it's a small, shitty thing, then, like, the fact that he was in a Hollywood movie is better than, like, any of the other voice actors, you know? I guess, dude. That's top billing, dude. And the fact that he was in The Hobbit means he's guild and, like, all... Like, to get into a movie that huge, you have to be fucking legit, you know? Like, they don't just take whatever dude off the street to be in The Hobbit. Like, that guy probably has a fucking long, expansive career and is, like, a super professional, you know, and is in the fucking Screen Actors Guild and all this shit. Because you can't be in a Hollywood movie without being in the fucking SAG. Right. So, like, there's no way that dude's not expensive as shit. <laughs> Gotta put rocks in the rings. Rocks in the rings. <laughs> Leave me alone. Ah! No! This is not, uh, not working. There you go. Got him. See ya. I just gotta find all the rocks to put in the rings. Yeah, I forgot about, uh, fucking Godbrand. Yeah, fucking Godbrand. Godbrand. Fucking Another character sucks, with just the worst dude. fucking what voice the in the hell? world. And I know everyone's gonna love Godbrand because he's a fucking meme, but he's <sighs> stupid and he sucks and his voice is awful and his lines are easy. And Versus even like, his, I'm the cursing angry guy even and you're gonna like me. Easy ass I'm lines, this guy fucks up phenomenally. Yeah. And there's another dude who fit, can't fucking enunciate to save his life. So all his lines come out like he's just... Bleh, 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 and you're like, okay, great. Mm. This is fantastic. And I'm so happy for like, you. Their, their witty banter throughout the show is always just like, oh, they said fuck you and oh, oh. eat shit. Like, wow, how, how fucking... What great dialogue. <laughs> Oh, yeah. man, they're really breaking boundaries here. The characters said curse words, and it's funny because it seems out of, like, out of Ha-ha. left field, you this know? This is an animation. We don't swear in animation. It's like, oh, it's such a serious show, but they're, you know, they're being comedic by saying curse words. It's so funny and charming. Uh, wow. Yeah, the guy who, uh directed this so they've they've got castlevania and then the same guy is going to direct a uh, devil may cry oh god yeah um series supposedly according to him from a tweet you know so who knows if that's actually i'm pretty happen. sure that's confirmed i don't know a lot of people have t- like it, it seemed like it. he said he got the rights to it you know like oh, like netflix and him have the rights to do it but that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna happen you know I guess, dude. Especially if he's doing Castlevania Season 3. Like, is he going to be able to do both? Who the fuck knows? Who, yeah. I mean, who knows? Anyway, but, uh... It's just like Akira being confirmed a billion times uh, and never happening. But, uh, this guy also mentioned in an interview that, uh, if, um, Castlevania and, uh, Double May Cry do well, he would like to get the rights to, uh, adapt Berserk. Yeah. And I was like, hey, yeah, dude. Great. I think Berserk's been shat on enough, dude. Like, I he, think we're good. He couldn't possibly do worse, I think, than, the, you know, the the no. CGI one. I don't but think like, so, but... Do I think he's gonna do the justice do the good. series deserves? Yeah. He would not make something that is better than the if 90s just, Berserk yeah, series. If he just literally adapted the manga into animation, it could be fine. It, like, went hard on the backgrounds and all that. Because, like, I mean, the backgrounds and stuff of Castlevania are fine, you yeah. know? It stays true to, like, the Castlevania art style, but it's not good, you know? Yeah. It's not good. That's the problem. In our opinion. <laughs> it's just boring most of the time. I don't know. Maybe with Berserk, it could be fine, because Berserk is actually a story that exists, you know? <laughs> Castlevania was, they were just writing from nothing, basically. Maybe with the, maybe it's, maybe it would be fine, I don't know. I mean... I, like, I, a small part of me wants to be like, I mean, what if they could? What if they could make a good Berserk adaptation and do it, you know? No. Fuck Japan, they're never gonna do it, we have to, we have to do it ourselves. No. 
on Netflix where they could do whatever they want. No, I don't but think yeah, so. But I'm not gonna not gonna get my hopes up for that shit. What am I doing, man? What I mean, I, I guess to give credit where credit is due, like you said, the last two episodes are solid. The yeah. ending was pretty solid. I did enjoy where they went with uh, Alucard and Dracula's relationship and where they left Alucard at yeah. the end of the show. And it is like they could do way worse with Castlevania, you know? This yeah. was a franchise that basically had nothing going for it. And they, they took it and they made it something. And even the fact that they got a little bit out of it is better than your average, average Netflix thing. I just don't think it's a masterpiece. Right. Like, that's where it becomes annoying is, like, the anime man saying Castlevania is a masterpiece. Yeah, it's, like, it's a masterpiece. Okay, it's not it's a like, fucking uh, masterpiece, guys. No, I'll give you, it's, 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 it's better than what you would expect, you know? Like, by the end. It was boring most of the time. By the end, I think it, it earned some points, you know? It got me back a little bit. It was better than what you could have imagined them doing with Castlevania. Yeah. But it's not a fucking masterpiece. By any means, no. It is not. Just chill out, guys. Calm the fuck down. Not a fucking masterpiece. Maybe they can... They're definitely not going to do anything good with Devil May Cry, because that's stupid. <laughs> like, Devil May Cry is already a big, goof-retarded... Like, eh. If they tried to go to the same direction they went with Castlevania, it would definitely not work. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they would do with Devil May Cry. Maybe, you know, maybe we can preserve... There's actually a story there, you know? Maybe maybe it's harder to fuck up. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah, stay optimistic about the world, hopefully. <laughs> what am I doing? Where am I going? Finding a boar. I guess I'm heading towards the shrine. Yeah, there's something, there's something out of here. Hey, a boar. Somewhere in here, there's a fucking shrine. It's gotta oh, be that hey, thing, right? how's it going, oh, bud? That's a ice boy. No, no, uh -oh. no! He fucking got you, dude. Got him. Oh, you got him. Yeah. They die in the fire. Uh oh. Yeah, I guess that's all I gotta say about that. Yeah. So, uh. It's whatever. Yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> I think that sums it up pretty well. I just, I, 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 I wish I could just have the, the last, like, the second to last episode and just, like, not watch the rest of the show. <laughs> just, like, maybe yeah. episode, like, six and seven that were fine and then, like, ignore everything else that happened. <sighs> like imagine rewatching that and being like, oh no, god, all I this boring shit to get that. through to get to the, what was enjoyable here. Oh god, oh I gotta fucking like sit through like a character like Godbrand that did nothing. That literally amounted just died. to absolutely nothing. Did not matter at all. God. Ooh, I'm getting somewhere. Path. I'm getting somewhere. Where are you? Over there. Oh, yeah? Oh. See where it's trying to tell me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Getting a. Uh, There's a cool little path here. Getting close. I want a little, a little journey to get through here. Yeah. Whoa. There he is. In an underground cave. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. And there's slime. Got him. White chews. They turned red because I used fire. Yeah. You murdered him, dude. I found a shrine. It's gonna be like, oh, we're getting care. What is the journey? Here you go. Here's <laughs> some free shit to Good fuck fucking you. fucking job. Ooh, eat shit and die. Yes. yes. I feel like that's probably what they would say. Yeah. Oh, man. We're at 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Okay, yeah. sweet. Yeah. All right, we did and it. And we, we can we end where water. we started off. In a shrine. Yeah, steady thy heart. No, it carries. Uh, I'm not sure if I've done this one before. It's pretty cool. I'm excited. Ready, I'm steady save, your heart. Save the game. Go. Ready, steady. Ready, steady. Ready, steady. Ready, steady. Let's get started, ready, steady, steady, you gotta steady. Uh.